Praise the Lord, people of God. God bless you. You know, the world is going to tell you to listen to your heart, to follow your heart, to do the things that the heart is telling you to do. Now, the world teaches us this. You can see it in the entertainment. You can see it in kids' shows. You can see it in these Disney cartoons that the heart... The song of the heart is so popular. But you know what? When you are a Christian, when you're a Bible believing and reading the word, everything changes. The whole narrative of what the world teaches you, everything is opposite of that when you walk with God. And let me prove it to you from the word of God because in Jeremiah it warns us. We can look at it in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 look what it says the heart is deceitful it says the heart is deceitful but it's not just deceitful but it's deceitful above all things Ay, caramba, what's going on what does that mean people of god don't be deceived just because your heart is telling you to do something because it can lead to sin because the heart is deceitful if you really want to know why i'm telling you this is because the bible gives us warning even in ecclesiastics it tells you the heart is full of madness and check this out it's saying it's deceitful above all things and desperately wicked so we need to be careful what we put into our hearts and look the bible even says if you read the whole verse of jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it it's a mystery what's going on why is it so wicked why does ecclesiastics say it's full uh, full of madness it's crazy and people listen to their heart and they do terrible things who's feeding the bad stuff in the heart who's feeding the wickedness in the heart we know that it's not christ because when you're in the word and when you are reading the word your heart can be filled with the word and it can be filled with the precious knowledge of the blood of jesus christ hallelujah but the wickedness that's in the heart it's who can know it the bible is saying but look what the lord is willing to do if you look at verse 10 of jeremiah chapter 17 it says I, the Lord, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. So I, the Lord, search the heart. Let God search your heart. Let him be the antivirus to all the, all the negative, all the depressive, or anything that's taking you away from God's will let God search your heart David many times pr prayed this prayer God search my heart know me create in me a new heart the whole purpose of this was this whole purpose of this prayer was so God can search out all the things that are in the heart that sometimes we as Christians don't even realize what's hidden in our heart that sometimes we don't realize and we do things we say things we could hurt people we could say by hurting somebody so let God be the antivirus to yourself to your heart so he can search out the matter he can take it out and apply the blood of Jesus on it hallelujah Christians we need to start searching our heart by the antivirus that God has given us, the blood of Jesus, his precious blood that was, that was shed for us. Hallelujah. This message is for you, sponsored by Jesus. God bless you.